Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be just doing some kind of generic setting up of my daily duo. I have printed some stickers off which I did a little bit earlier. These are not in kits as you can probably see. They still have the print and cut line that comes with Cricut print and cut designs. So I've basically just printed off exactly what I need for the rest of my month in my daily duo. So it's just a mishmash, a hodgepodge of different stickers. And I hope I have counted them correctly so that I don't have any extras or that I'm not missing any. That would be great because I often make that mistake. Anyway, so I'm going to get to sticking. So we are in June. Now I'm going to start with Wednesday. Today is actually Tuesday. It's the day before. I do need to stick in the skinny washi and the header for that. But I'm going to start from the Wednesday for now and I'll come back to that. We have Wednesday the 9th, Thursday the 10th, Friday the 11th. I like to just tip X out the dates. So, so far this week hasn't been super eventful. I'm having one of those weeks, well, it's only Tuesday, but on the weekend, I found myself just taking it super easy. I basically just lazed in the sun on Saturday. I had a few drinks, probably one too many. Had a little bit of a hangover on Sunday, but it wasn't too bad, to be honest. It was okay. It didn't last very long, so that's good. I just felt kind of tired. But yeah, I really didn't do anything on the weekend. But in a way, I sort of feel a bit guilty about it, but in a way it was nice because I usually end up filling my weekends with quite a lot of stuff like work stuff not I mean it's things like YouTube videos or making stickers or like my menu planning things like that so it's kind of work but it's stuff I enjoy so I wouldn't fully put it down as work but at the same time it's stuff that you know requires energy and effort so I wouldn't call it exactly relaxing. So it is nice here and there to have a weekend where I just don't do anything. I'd rather be going out and doing something, but at the minute that's not quite so readily available. So, but yeah, we've been super lucky with the weather the last week and a half because before that we had loads of rain and I didn't actually mind it, but I definitely do prefer the sun. And I'm getting a little bit of colour on me, which is nice. Obviously, I don't want too much all at once, but it's nice to have a bit and get a good dose of vitamin D. On Monday, I have my skating lesson. So at seven, I have show and skate, which is basically a group where we do kind of like a dance routine. We haven't got the full routine down yet. And we also don't have an awful lot of time until we are due to perform. So that's going to be interesting. There is one event on the 26th of this month of June. That one will be at my local rink, but I can't make that one because on that same day is when we are having an event. So the event is actually my brother's. It's called Dude Stock and it is for anyone who is a fan of his YouTube channel, Rusty Love, which is all about cars and stuff. So, the workshop where he does all his YouTubing and all his car work is where the event is going to be hosted. 
we are currently selling tickets for that and it's basically there's going to be a barbecue his best friend who is also on the channel with him plays in a band so they are going to be there too they are going to be playing so all in all especially with the way the weather is hopefully it's going to continue and we're going to have the same kind of weather we're having now on that day but it should be a fun day it should be nice and i think especially with how the last year has been that to have a kind of social event and to kind of you know meet new people and see other faces is just going to be really nice i'm just going along for well i'm going along to enjoy it um maybe help a little bit with some cooking hopefully it's going to be quite simple and there won't be too much for anybody to do anyway but i can always help out if necessary So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. And then this weekend on Sunday, I am supposed to be going to Worcester with a friend. We are going for a meal at a restaurant called Hambau, which I've never been to before. They do burgers. They do like really insane burgers and I have wanted to go for ages we've actually wanted to go for ages and we've never kind of managed to we did go once before but it was about a year and a half ago now and the day that we decided to go we had a mishap with the train journey we got off at the wrong station we ended up being late and then it turned out the kitchen closed early and we were so disappointed we traveled all the way there and we couldn't eat so yeah and we just haven't really had an opportunity to do a re a redo since then so that is what's happening this weekend hopefully although i will say that the same plan has been planned already. I'm having issues with my Tipex here. Okay, so I have just run out of Tipex. Great. So anyway, I'm just gonna have to continue without it and deal with it. Anyway, so we have yeah, so what I was saying was we have already planned this again for the last month or so and things have just been difficult. It seems the universe has been working against us <laughs> trying to get to this restaurant and we have had to cancel these plans twice in the last two months to go to this place. So yeah. But we have plans again to go this Sunday. So I'm really hoping that this will be the one. And we will finally, finally get to go and actually try some burgers. I really can't wait because the menu is awesome. They're really kind of like unusual combinations. And I love that. I love burgers in general, but I'm quite... I don't know if picky is the right word, but I think I've been lucky enough to have some really nice ones and I know what I like and I know my favourites and yeah. So I would say that I have the bar set quite high for burgers, so I'm really happy to be going somewhere where I think they're going to be really nice and might have a couple of cocktails. I am currently just editing this video and I just wanted to put a little insert here because I think it deserves it and I don't know if you already know but I am crazy about food so yeah I just thought I would share. The restaurant was amazing, it was so good. Um, I really want to go again if possible at some point but um, we had three burgers to share between the two of us my favourite one definitely was the Odd Future, which was like a sweet glazed donut with sprinkles cut in half and inverted as the bun. It was really soft as well, like it was super soft and fresh. Um, I kind of don't know why I expected it to be kind of stale, but it wasn't. It was amazing. 
and it had a beef patty I think it had cheese it had like a um chili bacon jam and um I think like some kind of sesame mayonnaise which was really good and it had fresh chilies in it as well and it had maple glazed bacon too oh, it was so good it was sweet but definitely savory as well but I love the combo of sweet and savory and it was just absolutely delicious and I also had two cocktails I can't remember the name of the first one or what it tasted like but the second one this is like over a month no it's about nearly a month ago now um, but the second cocktail I had was called the Rutang Clan and it was a rhubarb and custard one and it was like rhubarb flavour cocktail and it had like a custard foam on top. Oh my god, this cocktail was, I if I even go back just for that, like it was amazing. I've had a fair few really good rhubarb cocktails. I love rhubarb, love rhubarb. I love sweet and sour savoury and sweet as well. I love mixtures. I'm not a big fan of like just sweet on its own. And I love sour things. And honestly, out of all the rhubarb cocktails I've had, even my, my last favourite has been blown out of the water. Like that one was just like all the, all the things, all the gestures. It was just amazing. So yeah, um, Hanbao was great. Just wanted to put this in here and uh, back to the video. Apparently the river in Worcester is really nice so maybe we will go there afterwards not sure yet the weather is actually predicted to be really warm so up until now it's been up to about 23 24 degrees and on Sunday it is supposed to be 27 degrees the last time I checked which was this morning so that's insane that's like being on holiday almost pretty much depends where you go but yeah so it's super sunny so I cannot wait for that as well anyway I'm just going to put down the rest of these day headers and the skinny washi as well and then next I'm going to do the decorative boxes and then I will also be putting down my time labels as well which I put down here to cover up the times because I don't use the times as they are laid out on there so I'll add that in too and then I also like to write in my work day as well or we'll draw in my work day so <clears throat> I'll do that I'm going to speed this up because I rambled long enough and it's probably really boring to you guys so yeah i'm just going to speed this up and so you can see what i'm doing
Okay, so I have set up the whole month. It's taken me a while, but I've done it. So it's all ready for me. I just have to fill in my to-do lists. I usually put a nice little quote in the box here. So I usually do that daily and then I fill in anything here that I want. But those I will always do in the morning on the day themselves. I have been watching a movie actually on Netflix. I have my iPad here. It's the movie Crazy Rich Asians, which I haven't seen before. And it's literally just at the end. Really nice movie, actually. Very cute. I'm such a sucker for rom-coms or just romance movies to be honest um they usually get a few tears out of me but yeah it was really nice so I enjoyed that and it definitely helps when I'm sticking a million and one stickers in my journal but anyway that is enough talking I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe down below for more uploads but other than that I will say goodbye for now have an amazing day and see you next time